Welcome to the deriving the quadratic formula. All the the completing the square videos, the part one and two were the prerequisites for being able to derive the quadratic formula from the a squared plus b x plus c equals zero. And uh, if those, if you're stuck on those, uh, watch them before you watch this because this is harder. Um, because it is just letters; it's not numbers. I in my personal opinion feel that numbers are uh, a bit easier um but uh i'm gonna try and go through this and explain it well i tried to do it i actually made this video already and like it didn't save for some reason so i'm having to do it again it's kind of stressful <laughs> it just sucks um because i made it in you know the time period or whatever also the under 10 minutes or 11 minutes or whatever but, um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Um, well, first of all, just like in the completing the square part two, you have this thing in front of x squared, and you want to get rid of it. You want x squared by itself, so we're going to divide by a, right? Okay, so it's x squared plus b a x plus c over a equals zero and then we're going to subtract the one that doesn't have x by it so which is you know it's the same as the other ones it's just with letters um, minus c over a move it down oh my god put it out of the way okay <laughs> um, uh, x squared plus b a x plus and then remember this number is where you do the one half times whatever this is which is b over a and then squared equals negative c over a plus the same thing we have to do it on both sides remember b over a squared okay so what is this well, b times 1 is b, 2 times a is 2a, so this can be b over 2a. I know that looks bad, but I'm just trying to make sure, I was trying to fit it on the screen. b over 2a, and this is going to be squared. Well, what is that? Well, b and then squared is b squared, and then um, 2a squared is 4a squared, or yeah, 2a squared is 4a squared. So 4a squared. So because you're squaring the 2 and you're squaring the a, so that's how you get that. Um, and it's like that over here too. Remember, it's the same thing. So x squared plus b over a x plus b squared over 4a squared equals negative c over a plus um, b squared over 4a squared. Okay, what number, or what letters, I mean, this is why I said to learn it with the 1 half, because what letters multiply to get this one and add to get this one? Okay, well remember, it's, it's right here, because it's just this number, the one with the single x times 1 half, which is b over 2a. So, x plus b over 2a squared equals okay and now how would I add these remember you want to get these the same so how would I do that what's the difference between 4a squared and a well the difference is 4a um, because four, uh, a times a is a squared and 4 times a squared is 4 squared um, so what we want to do is multiply both sides by 4a to get the denominators the same okay and so this turns into 4ac, negative 4ac over 4 squared. So negative 4ac over 4a squared plus, and then just the b squared over 4 squared. b squared over 4 squared. And rewritten, because these are the same now, so we can just add across, is b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. 
all all we're doing is combining it and I put the b squared in the front obviously like it is in the quadratic formula but it just makes it look better instead of saying negative no, 4ac plus b squared you just put it in the front um, okay so the next step I'll just rewrite it real quick x plus oops, uh, plus b over 2a squared equals b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared okay let me check my time real quick okay I'm at 5 minutes I'm fine okay you want to remember you want to get rid of the square so we're going to take the square root and these basically cancel and then we're going to take the square root of both sides um, let me move it down a little bit again okay so this just comes out this is the x plus b over 2a equals rewritten the, uh, the better way in my opinion um, wow that looks bad let me just take that out b squared minus 4ac over the square root of 4a squared okay well the 4a squared you can't have remember the square root in the denominator so take this out square root of 4 is 2 square root of a squared is a because a times a is a squared um, so rewritten this is b plus or I mean x plus b over 2a equals the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a which should look very familiar almost almost there um, oh my god I forgot okay this the plus or minus uh, <laughs> sorry I keep forgetting that I just, um, okay so remember when you take the square root like this to both sides uh, you have to say plus or minus um, so plus or minus and then plus or minus I'm only doing the last three remember because that's the only you know before right here there is no plus or minus on this side it's just when you take the square root when you cancel the squared with the square root on the one side and you have to take the square root of the other side you do plus or minus so that's why that wasn't just because I'm lazy and don't feel like going back up this because that's how it is okay so remember we're solving for x so you want to get x by itself so we're going to subtract b over 2a from both sides minus b over 2a so rewritten is x equals negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and since let me check it one more time I just want to make sure okay since these are the same remember we can just add across so rewritten this would be x equals the famous negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and that is the quadratic formula and hopefully that made sense if any of it didn't just uh, comment and let me know what you're having trouble with. I might even make a separate video if uh, it really didn't make sense to you. And I'll make you a video explaining whatever you're stuck on. Explaining more in detail if I didn't cover it enough on how to do it. And uh, be sure to go check out my um, C++ videos because I'm really into uh, C++. Uh, I don't post them as much as... I want to, but I'll probably put another one up, a new one uh, today or tomorrow. So uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time.